Box fans, this is Kenneth SB Unboxing. You visit the web at www.sbunboxing.com. For every request, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's speak boxing. Um, Timothy Bradley squared off to take on who? Nobody knows, but Joel Diaz said that he wants Manny Pacquiao. They're talking about Manny Pacquiao. They want to go ahead and take on Manny Pacquiao. They want to go ahead and prove to the world, let the fans know who was the better fighter that night. Just because Manny Pacquiao, in my eyes, completely annihilated Timothy Bradley. And for some reason, you know, they gave the fight to Timothy Bradley. And Timothy Bradley actually got the short end of the stick. A lot of, he lost a lot of fans. He lost a lot of respect. Even though I understand it's not his fault, but he actually took a lot. He took the weight for it. He took the hit for it. He took the blame for it. And he's out there to prove the world after he pulled up the upset victory. Um, big victory against Juan Marquez. He looked really, really good and completely outboxed Juan. He outboxed the boxer. He, he definitely did his thing. Um, but now he's ready to take on Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is going to take on Brandon Rios. Brandon Rios, yes, not take anything from Brandon Rios. He's a hell of a fighter. He's a brawler, and that's why they call him Bam Bam, because the motherfucker can bam. Um, but Mike Alvarado took a whole different approach coming into the second fight and didn't brawl with Brandon Rios. He actually boxed Brandon Rios, and that's um, the chip in the armor for Brandon Rios. Um, boxing him. Now, Brandon Rios got with Alex Ariza, new trainer, and Pacquiao's old trainer, and they're working on things, you know. Um, they're working, making him a more complete fighter, boxing, um, and mixing it up a little bit, making the brawler a boxer. So, you know, uh, Brandon Rios even said it, coming into this fight, um, he's going to box Manny Pacquiao. Hope that works out, but my fight prediction on that one, I think Manny Pacquiao is just too fast, too explosive, and it's going to completely outwork. And Brandon Rios, once he gets tagged with a couple of straight right, straight lefts for Manny Pacquiao, especially that left. Brandon's going to go back to his old ways, and he's going to try to bang. He's going to try to brawl with Manny Pacquiao. But anyways, not to talk about that, but Timothy Bradley, Timothy Bradley wants Manny Pacquiao, which really, really, really doesn't make any sense to me because Brand Manny Pacquiao was looking for an opponent. He was looking for Juan Marquez at the time, and Juan Marquez didn't want to fight him. He didn't want to give Manny Pacquiao the rematch. Um, he was looking for uh, Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley, he was offered, uh, he was out for six million dollars, and Timothy Bradley declined to take on Manny Pacquiao. But yet he fights Juan Marquez for 4.1, 4.2 million dollars. Now all of a sudden, now he came out victorious. Now all of a sudden, he wants to make that fight happen, um, which was bullshit. I knew it was bullshit from the, you know, the dollar amount or whatever. He fought for two million dollars less. Um, it was just, let's be real. The reason you didn't want to take Mar Marquez, the reason you didn't want to take on um, Pacquiao, because you were getting your ass beat. And Pacquiao's that dude. Pacquiao's a bad motherfucker. Um, Timothy Bradley, you knew you lost that fight. That's why you don't want to take on Manny Pacquiao. Now that Manny Pacquiao got knocked out on Juan Marquez and you knocked out on Marquez, all of a sudden you think it's going to have a different outcome. I don't think so. You know, if Timothy Bradley goes ahead and takes on Juan, I mean, uh, Pacquiao, I think it's going to have the same outcome. I think Manny Pacquiao is too explosive, too fast, and he just needs to be, he needs to learn from the Juan Marquez and not get over excited, you know, and just keep his composure and don't go for the knockout. But anyways, um, there's, there's a lot of fights for Timothy Bradley. You know, there's a lot of fights for Timothy Bradley. They're usually talking about Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto possibly coming down to 147 to take on Timothy Bradley. But I think Miguel Cotto is going to actually move up in the catch weight to take on Sergio Martinez. But that'll be a good fight, Timothy Bradley versus Miguel Cotto. If Miguel Cotto comes down from the 154 to the 147, which I think Miguel needs to be around the 147 because he would, at the 147 division right now, that's the division. You know, um, even Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz, he's actually going to take on. Alfonso Gomez. What the fuck, man? My fight prediction on that one in December. Victor Ortiz broke his jaw against Jose De Lopez. I had Victor Ortiz winning about two rounds. Jose De Lopez did his thing, pulled off the upset. Um, Ortiz was take. He was supposed to take on Canelo Alvarez. That fight was supposed to happen, but Ortiz is going to take on Alfonso Gomez. Obviously, you can tell that's a tuna fight. Uh, Gomez, who's Gomez? Um, he's fought Canelo Alvarez. He's fought Miguel Cotto. He's fought. He's fought a lot of fighters, but um, I, I'm i going with Victor Ortiz on this one. I think Victor Ortiz is going to knock him out. Yep, I'm going for KO. I don't even think he's going to go 10 rounds. I think Victor Ortiz will knock out Alfonso Gomez, and I think Canelo Alvarez will finally go ahead and take on Victor Ortiz. I see that fight happening. Um, but Victor Ortiz, if once he wins, then one of the three fights might happen. Um, 
be Victor Ortiz versus Canelo next year because Canelo is scheduled to fight three, at least three people. But as far as Timothy Bradley, I think Timothy, they, you know, Timothy Bradley could fight um, Victor Ortiz. I'm not sure if he's going to get Juan Marquez a rematch. I don't think he should get Juan Marquez a rematch. He should pull on Marquez when Marquez did the back, yeah. And don't give, don't give him a rematch, man. Fuck that. Uh-uh. I won't even go with that. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is Kenneth S. Me unboxing. Firm request, subscribe. Um, who do you think Timothy Bradley should fight next? Um, have a good one.